Yeah, probably. Hello and welcome to another wonderful evening of English language. Today we are going to be looking at the summary of the life changer novel, the literature test that is used for the use of English for this year's jam. Now, in the summary, you're going to be seeing some letters in bold. So these letters in bold will represent the likely questions that are going to be coming from these chapters. And we have from chapter one to nine. So let's start immediately. As I'm reading down, please take note of the bold words. They are likely to come out. Then at the end of the chapter, I also brought out some questions, likely questions that you're gonna be seeing in your exam. Okay, let's move chapter one. This chapter opens with the discussion among Umiyo's children, which she was uh, actually dropping. Bint, the last born, is the one narrating her experience in school with a teacher who asks questions about her understanding of French language. But with Bent's uh, question, he revealed he is not as good as he thought. Tima, who was the second child alongside Jamila, the third child, listened to Bint, who happened to be the last child as she narrates the story. Umi enters the room, and while they are all enjoying their conversation, Omar, Umi's first child, came in and announced his admission with the word, I made it. Mom, I made it. Omar has just been offered admission to study law in Congo campus of University of uh, Amadabelo University. Everyone is happy, but Omar has got a request to make, which is that no one tells his father about the admission before himself so he could get a smartphone his father had promised him if he secures admission to study law, which was the father's dream field. The family decides to leave the room as it is getting stuffy due to lack of power supply for two days. While they decided to go outside, Bint demanded for Zobo, which in response to that, Omar said he could by everyone, Zobo. But Tima refused to oblige, claiming that Omar is not to be trusted with money. Umi cut short the argument between her children by offering to pay for the Zobo. Why the children, why, ha, uh, why the happy mother with her children sat under the mango tree with Tima sent to fetch Zobo for everyone? Bint demanded Umi that is their mother tell them a story. Omi, hearing this, began to think about the kind of story relevant to such an occasion as this, considering the fact that her first child, Oma, had just gained admission into university, which is different environment altogether. She decides to begin the story by asking Omar how he went about getting his admission. In response to that, Omar showed how hardworking he was to get good grades and acclaimed some wonderful feats to himself by saying, you see, mom, there is always a silver lining in the cloud. After I pass SSCE, by no means a small feat. This self-appraiser is met with a sharp cut from Tima, his immediate younger sister. Omar did not hesitate to show that he felt hurt by what his sister Tima said. Tima get the message and stopped touting. 
after this, Omar narrates how the whole examination from SSC to obtaining of jump form and writing the examination. He also tells his mother how his friends told him to go and check the jump caps for his admission status. It took him two days to get this done due to the lack of smartphone. And he added that his mother should tell his father about this, which is definitely one of the reasons he needed a smartphone or he needs a smartphone. His mother promised to tell the father when he returns from work. Omi decides to ask Omar <laughs> if he knows the implication of the admission and he never wasted time in replying. Omo says, it means I've arrived. It means I am one of the intelligentsia. But Omi looked at him and said, listen, my son, this admission is a life changer. Omar does not seem to understand this statement by his mother, but no one can tell that Omi is about to begin her storytelling from here. So important and likely questions from chapter one. The chapter started with discussion from Umi's children. And the story was being narrated about a French class issue by Beans and the teacher. And Omar made the acclamation, I made it because of his admission. And he actually got this admission at Ahmad Bello University to study law. The dream field for them. So the father promised to get him a smartphone if he secures this admission. And as they were doing this discussion, they decided to leave the room because it was stuffy due to lack of power for two days. Uh, almost children from this passage we are able to gather are Omar, Tima, Jamila, and Bint, the last child. So Omar is the first child. So these are likely questions and notes that you need to take. And that's why in this passage, We've been able to underline them. So in subsequent passages, you're going to see us underline the major points that you're supposed to have in mind. See things like I made it uh, about his admission, about the French language class where they had the issue, about the school where he got admission and the course he's supposed to study. So all these are noteworthy points, and that's why we noted them. Uh, this updated version of this uh, summary is already on our on our, um, our website. The name of our website is educateafricans.com. So once you go there, you see a link to download this uh, summary of Life Changer. We've already uploaded it there. So this is a summary. It's it just around 20 pages of the 80 page book. We'll put it in 20 pages and we bolded all the important points that are likely questions. So, and like I said, we're gonna keep working on this uh, summary and keep bringing out most likely questions and keep updating it on our website, uh, https colon double forward slash educateafrican.com. So check the description part of this video. You see the link to this our website and that is where you continue to see more updated versions of these novels. So let's continue with chapter two. This chapter begins with the happy Lafayette, uh, Lafayette community. So Lafayette community is the community where uh, Omi is from. So the community is happy over Omi's journey to university. And this uh, is actually over 20 years ago that this happened. Omi's father had only agreed she goes to the university on the term that she gets married before graduating. Her husband had also requested and agreed that they get married before Umi's registration in university. Umi was not all right with the idea in the first place, but she left uh, later found out that the uh, her husband had a point. Umi reveals to her children the kind of free wheels lifestyle that is permitted in the university. She added that there is no need for uniform. So in the university, there are no needs for uniforms, which made it uh, difficult to differentiate uh, between lecturers and students, except for such faculties as law, where there is always prescribed mode of dressing for students. That is white shirt, black trousers, laced with black tie for the boys. Umi added the fact that many of the ladies dressed half naked, 
which prompted me to say it is not possible in my school. Because if a student wears a wrong color of sandals, he will be sent home. But her mother reminded her that she just, she just in primary school, the life is nowhere comparable to that in the university. The story continues with Umi's experience with Salma, sassy, beautiful new student. Umi described Salma as a very beautiful, elegant young woman who dresses to show all her endowments. Umi first met Salma at the faculty registration office where they all waited for over an hour for the faculty registration officer who seemed to be staying ages before arriving and getting started with them. Salma is the last person in the queue and she had barely spent 30 minutes on the queue when she started complaining, telling others how well she knew the lecturers and their inconsiderate behaviors as well as their unholy acts which included starting the male students and asking the female students for a day. While Sama is busy with all these, a young man among them, who later turned out to be the faculty registration officer, showed some interest in Sama's complaint. His identity is although unknown to Sama at first, not until it was time for him to enter the office. Everyone finds someone have been cleaning the office all along. A young man named John had been in the office to clean it up. The faculty registration officer enters the office and the students start entering in accordingly. Umi was done with her registration here, so she is to proceed to the head of department office for her matriculation number. Dr. Samuel Junction, popularly known as Sam John, is the head of the department. Dr. Samuel Junction welcomed Umi in such a manner that provoked her and made her unnecessarily cautious of her at the same time. Umi met him writing down something, which he stopped after she enters and asked her of her name and demanded further if she needed anything to drink. The HOD also commented how beautiful she looked, especially in her attire and only wish the other students would emulate her health style. While all this was going on, Umi did not hesitate at all to show her disgust and unease as she left. She asked if the HOD would just give her the matric number she had come for and let her leave as she was seriously pressed, even though that was a lie. Dr. Sam John asked her to make use of the toilet which she objected. Dr. Sam insisted she made use of the toilet, except she was never pressed. She reluctantly agreed to do so and made a false use of the toilet, where yeah, she already planned to leave immediately, whether or not the matric with or without the matric number. Immediately, Umi stepped out of the toilet, the HOD read out her matric number to her, and she left with some anger, which was obvious. From her disrespect from there, she proceeded to the 100 level coordinator for further registration, where her registration went, went smoothly. After the whole exhausting registration process, Umi took a triangle home. She arrived home around 4 p.m. tired, but quickly, luckily enough, her husband was yet to return from work, so she had enough time to prepare his dinner. After this cooking, Umi's husband was back and tried to discuss a matter with her about the silent one. But Umi hijacked the gist and narrated her experience in school from her encounter with Salma to her encounter with Dr. Sam John and how she responded to all the hearts. Her husband laughed so hard and declared to her that Dr. Sam John is in his own and also the man who assisted them with her admission. Umi's husband also confirmed that Dr. Sam John is a Yoruba man. As Umi was uh, narrating the story to the children, she noticed they were all anxious to ask her questions. The same way she felt when her husband told her. Okay, so this is the wrap for chapter two. And like I said, in all these chapters, take note of the bolding word. There are likely questions that are gonna be coming out. 
And uh, in chapter one, when we finished, we brought out some likely questions. Uh, we said that uh, the, the, the discussion led by Finch was what started out the chapter. And they, we actually uh, also told about Homer's admission to Ahmad Bello to study law. So take note of all these likely questions. Uh, Chika, can you guys hear me clearly? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay, so this is the uh, summary of the um, Life Changer novel. We took our time to do this summary and we underlined, uh, we bold in all important facts, which you're supposed to know as you're reading the summary. So this latest summary is already on our website, educateafricans.com. Once you go there, this is the website here. You can just click on this link, https colon double forward slash educateafricans.com. That is where you can get this. It's already there, this updated copy. And like I said, every day we keep working on this uh, summary, making it smaller and making it very, very rich so that what we up uh, upload lastly will be what is okay for you. So keep going to the website and checking the latest updated copy with uh, some questions that you need. So that is where you're gonna get everything you need. So make sure you're there. And like I said, from next week, all our lectures will be from the website. So make sure you create an account there and start following out so that when you have questions, you can ask through the website and our teachers will always be there to help you out. So let's continue chapter three. Dr. Samjian was until she asked her husband to apologize on her behalf, which, okay. So this is actually telling us about uh, Umi not knowing that Samjian actually helped in her admission, disliking her because of the way she felt that she likes uh, women. Umi was asked to tell the story about the quiet one. Umi began the story about the quiet one by addressing Omar that the story would be more beneficial to him as he was about going into the university. Uh, she advised him not to judge people by faces and ensure that he does not trust everyone he comes across. She started by telling her children how relatively small town, small their town, Lafayette, is how everyone knows everyone in the community. She also tells them that how their community does not welcome strangers without the district head hacking. Uh, this was in order to make sure they kept criminals away. The story of the quiet one is about a young man called Tali who was born through consultations of his parents with a traditional me me medicine man called Bukka. Tali's mother died after his birth and also lost his father and stepmother when he was about 20 years of age. Tali became a loner and withdrew from everyone. He does not talk back to anyone. And this is where he got his name, Quiet One. Tali was a driver at the local government office Things changed one day when the sellers of groceries, who were already fond of what Tale usually buys, when they noticed he was buying more than before. After a few observations, they decided to report to the Hakimi, who in return summoned Tale and asked him. Tale could not defend himself when the Hakimi asked him of where he got the money to double his grocery. While this was going on, there was a siren heard outside the Hakimi's palace. Immediately Tale had he, he, immediately Tale had this, he ran into the Hakimi's house. He was brought out by Hakimi's errand boys. The police officers brought in another man known as Zaki, who the police claimed he was guilty of kidnapping, armed robbery, and extortion. Tale was led to house by the police where they came out with a boy not more than 13 years old. The IPO later confirmed to the people of Lafayette that the poor young boy was kidnapped from the city by Zaki and Tully, who demanded for a 1 million ransom from the father who ended up beating the price down to 250,000 naira. Uh, where the father suspected the kidnappers to be amateur at business and decided to involve the police. Okay. So we can see that this chapter three talks about the quiet one and uh, the involvement in kidnapping. And also the importance of the fact that the, the 
town was a small town, the town where Umi was from. So let's look at chapter four that talks more about Psalm. This chapter is ushered in with introduction of Summer. Summer is described here to be in her early 20s and at her most prime as well. She is declared a bad dresser who dresses to reveal all her endowment. Sama was in Dr. Dabble's office, who happened to be the to be her level coordinator. Dr. Dabble is described as a well-disciplined and principled lecturer. He never had himself entangled with any female student. He always tries to as much as possible to keep them, but his encounter with Sama was different. Immediately, Dr. Dabble sets his eye on Sama. He felt and thought he had never seen such beauty before. He felt extremely uneasy that he tried all he could to resist the temptation, but was unable as he called Sama back after the whole registration process. Dr. Dabo called Sama back and asked her to tell him more about herself. Sama pretended not to have understood the question and before introduced herself as a new student on campus. Dr. Double, trying to make it clearer, told her that he meant intimately and she would love to become her intimate friend. Summer felt unsatisfied. Dr. Double immediately regretted his action and said he was sorry. After Summer stormed out of his office, forgot immediately everything that took place, he proceeded to the hostel for hostel allocation. Samo was at first not pleased with the kind of women she was to stay with, but she was to start living with. They were going to be four in a room. But after a little period of time, she found out that they were good people to have as friends, who later turned into sisters. The four roommates, Sama, Tomiwa, Ada, and Ngozi, got along well. It could be said that the food was one of the major things that strengthened their friendship. The friends were allocated their space in famous Queen's Animals Hall. In the course of the event, Sama bumped into two young rich men with Mercedes Benz. When she was returning from an outside after having waited for some time, the young men called Labran and Habib, offered her a ride to school gates and later took her into the front of her hostel, to the front of her hostel, the famous Queen's Aminas Hall. So we can see that this chapter four talks about Mr. Dabo, a disciplined man that had an encounter with Sama, a very pretty girl. And also you can from here know that the, the, the hostel where Sama stayed was called Queen Tall, Queen Amina So this is Amina So take note. Queen Amina So, okay. So those are very important. And that the three roommates, the four roommates, or the three roommates of Sama are Tomiwa, Adan, and Gazi. We are supposed to take note of all these. These are very important aspects of chapter four. Then let's move on to chapter five. The following day after Sama's encounter with the two young men in Mercedes Benz at around 8 p.m., Tomiwa phone rang and she picked the call, put it on speaker for other roommates to hear their conversation. The call asked if he was up to Tomiwa. He replied yes and told her he was outside the hostel and wondered if she could step out. It. Tomiwa reluctantly picked up her bag and went ahead to see who was around. Upon her arrival, she discovered there was one person and she asked only to find out the, that the front seat with a stranger beside her and another beside her she was later taken to the shop called the Faculty of Sugar. Uh, Habib sent Labran to go get some stuff and he rushed quickly to get them while Labran and Tomiwa are left in the car to talk. Habib quickly revealed to Tomiwa that he is aware that she was not the lady he offered a ride the night before. With, with some level of annoyance, uh, Tomiwa agreed. Habib loved Tomiwa kind of lady and decided to settle for her. Although Tomiwa quickly told him about her hatred towards politicians by telling him that the politicians are never the solutions to the country's problems. 
Have you asked how many of them stayed in the room? She said four and he gave 50,000 with 20,000 for her and each of the other three, 10,000. Labran returned with all he wants to buy and all we are giving to Tomiwa. They took her back to the hostel and upon her arrival, she related the story to her roommate. Sama regretted lying and pushing Tomiwa to the rich honorable Habib after seeing all he did in the first outing. This created some problems among the sisters, but this argument was miraculously resolved by the presence of a stranger who knocked at the door and made them stay still and quiet until they heard the footsteps drifting away. They quickly put off the light in the room, made use of the phone thought light. They could not finish the suya and chicken, so they kept the rest in the fridge to be used in the next day for food. Sama asked Tomiwa when next the rich young man would come around again and decided to go stay fixed with the other young man. Labra, who happened to be Habib's driver, no time friend as well. Habib and Labra have been childhood friends. While Habib faced his education, Labra went to driving school after which he got employed in the local government as a driver. And from the little money he was making, he was assisting his friends, Habib friend Habib. After Habib graduated, he joined politics and voted and was voted as a member of the House of Representatives. He decided to employ Rabaran as his personal driver. Meanwhile, as the four sisters continued their journey on campus, they remained roommates to their final year. They were serious about their studies and they were among the leading students in their respective department. So four we are about to write their final year examination and the last paper. The examination timetable was moral uh, philosophy, which was also a general study. Okay, so that was chapter five, and um, talking about how they met with uh, Labran and Habib, and about what went on when they were given a call. Okay, so chapter six. Omi took a sip of her zobu and noticed Tami, Tami, Tamia had been all engrossed in the storm, so that she was hardly moving due to the love for the story. Think Tamiwa, this, this is a mistake. This is Tamiwa. Okay, Omi continued with her story. After the observation, she told them it was the day for the student's last examination, uh, the moral philosophy. She also reminded Tema that uh, moral philosophy is one of the easiest uh, subjects in the university, and it is usually written last. Despite the fact that this subject is the easiest, some tend to find these same subjects difficult. They refuse to attend classes. When the exam was finally here, she practiced the past questions with her roommate. They practiced it so much that they could remember every answer to the question offhand. Uh, this was due to the fact that the lecturer was only being recycling some questions for three consecutive years with little or no modification. Uh, summer on the day dressed more gorgeous than ever before, and the roommate asked her for the reason. She said her department was to take some pictures uh, with some lecturers. Summer made sure she at the exam that the exam hall paper was distributed. Some of felt are greatly disappointed because all she read has refused to show up on the question paper handed to her. Uh, she stands she stood still for over 30 minutes without writing and the, without writing. Uh, she decided to communicate with Kola Wale Abdul, who was a colleague and also known to be writers. Kola would not answer first until the first train was getting too hot, okay? So this chapter was actually saying about the, the exams. Okay, so, um, uh, Chama, are you guys following? Hello, Chama. I mean, at least put your uh, put yourself on mute. Uh, take up, put yourself on mute. Who else is talking? So I just asked that uh, Chama. 
Sir? Tom, are you following? Yes, sir. Are you following? Yes, okay. sir. Sorry, I can't. So uh, I'm going to actually stop here. Uh, like I said, OK, uh, this whole summary is already on our website. So check out our website, Educate Africa. You're going to see all these. And I'm going to be giving an assignment now. So the assignment will be to uh, look at the last four chapters and underline other very important points on them. So that is the assignment. I want it to be submitted on the special group. And um, uh, we're going to move on from there. I believe that all of you must have read this novel. This novel is something you can finish in, uh, in a day maybe a maximum four to five hours. If you're a slow reader, if you're a fast reader, you can finish it's far less time than that. So please make sure that you read this novel. Uh, you're gonna be having a couple of questions from this novel. And that's why we've taken our detailed time to work on it. And like I said, we've not finished our work on this novel. We'll keep working on it, making it, uh, correcting all the typos. There are lots, lots of typos uh, on them because I gave somebody to type and a lot of typos. So we're going to continue working on those typos and we'll, we'll submit the letters. We'll be updating the letters. So quickly go to our website. This is the website here. Click on it so that you get to the link, educateafrican.com. If it's not showing, you, know, you can put this HTTPS uh, semicolon double forward slash. Is that the way it is here? Go there and register yourself as a student. From next week, all our lectures will be from the website. We'll be giving assignments from there. So get there and get yourself accustomed to the environment on the website. If you have any questions, you can call my phone number. This is my phone number, 0706716298. If you're not in Nigeria, it has to be plus 2347067162698. So I'm going to open up the website now so that we can be able to see how we can do this. Um, Chama, can you still see my screen? So, yes, Chama, I can. can you see my screen? Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so what are you seeing on your screen now? Um, Nigeria's, no, sorry. I said, what are you seeing on your screen now? Jam Waek Nickel Uni, HTTPS, a website. Okay, so that means you're seeing my screen. So I'm trying, okay, I'm trying to open up the other website, Educate Africans, uh, the platform that we're going to be using for our lectures from next week, Monday. That is where we are going to be working from. It's expected of you that you go there and register as a student and start taking the uh, assignment there. Because that's what we are going to be using for those of you that have not done that. So this is the website, Educate Africa. So once you click here, you can see a life changer summary. This is where we'll be putting any updates we'll make on the summary. We'll put it here. You can see it here, life changer summary. If you click here now, you see the letters, the one I've done, which I told I've given you guys assignment to check out the uh, last three chapters and on that I'm building the most important facts there. So this is where you get the novel. Just click here, you get it downloaded. If you need your syllables, you can get your syllables here. Yeah, I've already put it here. The CBT application is here, whereas the uh, Android application done by us, a very good one that you can use to practice for your jam is down this side. So make sure that you go to this website. All the things, this is the Android application. All the things you need to pass your jam and work, they are already there in this uh, website. We've already stopped it. As you're going through the lectures, all the quizzes are from your past question, Jamba and Waek past question. So as you're going through them, you're, uh, you're acclimatizing yourself with the likely questions that you're going to be seeing. So once you get to this website, getafrican.com, this is where they have students' registration. Register there. And once you do that, click on all courses. This is all courses. Then you see all the subjects that you're doing. So click on inside any of them, enroll, and start taking the classes. So as you're taking the classes, if you have any questions, you can drop them there. So let's say I want to take English class. I can click on this English here. 
So there is economics, there is commerce, there's all the subjects that you need there. There, there are both video lectures and notes so that you don't need to copy it. from the notes. You can actually make your own notes. So you see, I've clicked on English and it's explaining what I can see there, the requirements and everything about, you can see all the topics. We can see parts of speech in there. You can see stress and syllables, emphatic stress, synonyms, all those things we've done. Comprehension, vowels and consonants, elements or lexis and structure, letter writing, singular and plural, rhetoric question, work factory. The notes I'm using to teach you, everything has been uploaded there. So with this, you can easily cover your syllables immediately, even without us moving at the same pace that we are moving. So everything is here, including quizzes that are from your past question. We use our jam past question recorded and uh, paper to do these quizzes. So you can see that once you go to this website, we've already covered everything there. And that is why it is very important. And that is where you are supposed to be reading from. This website are done according to your jam syllables and your YX syllables covering all the topics that you need there. And that is why you must be registered there and you must start taking classes from there immediately. If you have any questions and concerns, any class that you open, there is a place for Q&A, question and answer. You can drop it there. Our teachers will always check it and answer. So let's say now I come here, I click on start course. So once you've opened the course, you have to click on start course or enroll. If you've not registered, you'll see enroll. But once you've registered, you see start course. So when you open start course now, on this side, you're going to see all the topics, whereas on this other side, you start seeing the video explanation of this course. So the video is as if I'm the person teaching you because I'm the person that recorded this video. So it's as if you're still having a class with me like this. And one good thing about this one is that it appears on a blackboard just the way you would have had it if you have a class. So you can see down here, we are having what pass of speech is giving examples, noun, verb, and everything, giving you what types of nouns, all the complete notes you're getting it. But at the same time, if you want to learn by the video, you just click on the video. So let me click on this video now. You start seeing, okay? Once the video start playing, you start having the lectures. So this is where I call Q&A. You can see the Q&A here, browse Q&A. Once you click here, you can ask your question here. So if you want to ask us any question, you do it from here. So after the classes, there are quizzes also be below them. So those quizzes, like I said, are from past. Okay. Okay, Buti, did you enjoy the class? The little class that I just played now? Buti, I did not hear you unmute yourself very well and talk before you meet back. Buti, are you there? Okay, Olua Shei, did you uh, get the class? I'm you. Olua Shei, did you get the class? No, I didn't hear anything. Okay, uh, Chika, were you listening? Sadi, so, this was the video wasn't loud. 
Okay, it wasn't loud enough. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so, but when you play it on your when you play it on your own, it's gonna be loud when you go to the website and play from there. Okay. I think okay, the, sir. The, the, yeah, my volume was capturing uh my own volume and not volume from the uh medium. okay. But like I said, that's how we're gonna be uh that's where we're gonna be taking our classes from henceforth. So the earlier okay. we We'll learn how to use the platform the better for us so the platform affords us the opportunity to interact with our teachers as if we are actually in the class and that's how we created all these uh browse q a you can ask questions you can answer your q and a's and you can do a whole lot of things so all the uh topics that are in english are already captured here so once you go there you can quickly finish up your syllables Within, you can even finish up your syllables in weeks, in two weeks. This is the best way to prepare for the jam and wired. So using this our platform, you can cover your syllables in weeks so that you'll be prepared to answer questions and we can interact on the basis of questions and you build your confidence before your exam. And that is our plans for you. Uh, so we're gonna be signing off here. Thank you, God bless you. Uh, like I said, if you need the, uh, summary you can always get it on this our website educate africans once you open the home page you can easily click here this is life changer summary we always drop this summary here as we update them then the app for this educate africa is on google play store the very app that leads you to this learning platform is on google so go to your google play store if you're using android download it we also have the app for our uh test driller app the educate african test driller is also on Google Play. So we have two apps with the name Educate Africa. So once you go there, download the two of them. They are very light, lightweight, app, light, lightweight apps. Like the app for this class that I'm just opening for you now is very light, like 2.5 MB. So just download it immediately. Start using it from your phone and start following these classes. The way I just explained, uh, scroll down to courses, start following the courses from your house. And uh, once you are you're on internet connectivity, you can follow this up. You can also click on our YouTube page here, yeah, follow our latest videos from our channel. So we are here to make it possible for you to get 300 and above in your jam and 901 in your work. That is our plan for you. And that is why we are constructing all these platforms to enable you to uh, study in a more effective way. So. Uh, like I said, the updated version of the summary is already here. Once you get to this website, get Africans or come click on uh, this life changer and every other good things we are going to be updating here for you. So thanks for joining. See you when I see you. Thank, Thank you. you sir. Make sure you do the assignment. Thank you. And God bless. Thank you, sir. Bye bye.